Hello everyone, and today I'm going to show you how to refurbish your power supply. I mean, why not? And before we start this, I just want to thank everyone for all the support on the last video. It was really cool. I don't know, I, I really enjoyed it. it yeah, I don't know. I, I, I need to stop. Anyway, so the first thing... No, I should talk about what we were doing. So, what we're going to do is we're going to replace the fan, we're going to clean out the fan, and I'm going to tell you how to clean out the actual inside of the power supply. I'm not going to show you because I didn't do it, which was probably a dumb idea, but whatever. And also how to get little scuff marks and make them like not look like they're there. And yeah, that's about it. Probably not a great video, but you know, something. So now what we're doing is we're just gonna plug the fan into Molex connector and we're gonna test to see like and we're just gonna like short out the pins which are responsible for turning the power supply on. That way it can basically drain the capacitors to the fan. And no, I know this is an ESD safe tweezers, I am not actually just like showing you what you do, it would be much easier if those tweezers were actually actually worked. Anyways, right? So just put this little pin in and you can squeeze it a little tighter. And yeah, we're just gonna put that in there and short it out and oh, put it in the wrong one. Uh, yeah, this video is not great, just so you know. Like it's pretty bad. I mean, I don't know why you're watching it. And honestly, if anyone tries to watch the whole thing, they're probably just gonna click through here anyways. Or click out, off here anyways, but whatever. If you wanna see it, there's there's some in, there's some content. Right? But yeah, I shouldn't have said that. I, I probably lost all my viewers, even the ones who were interested. So now there was no power left in the capacitors, at least I think so. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna unscrew the screws. Basically what you want to do is make sure you're only unscrewing the outside screws because you can screw the inside screws. It's not going to take off the top of the fan will just fall out and then it'll just be annoying. So yeah, only the outside screws and then you can, well you'll try to lift it off but you'll see it won't lift off. There's actually a little clip on the sides on most power supplies I think. You just like over here, you see that little clip? You just have to lift that up like out, not up, away from the power supply. Right? and then it should pop off. So yes, then you can just uh, flip off the top. And yeah, now you can basically just unplug the fan and you're not gonna wanna tug on it because you like by the wires, because you tug on it by the wires, I mean, it depends on your connector. It will, uh, it might actually pull out the wires, which you definitely don't wanna do. So I don't know why I'm pulling it on twice. I'm just, I don't know. Whatever, um, right, but you're gonna like take tweezers, or you can take your fingers, but it might be hard to reach with your fingers and go under the connector. And you're just gonna wanna take it out that way. You might use a little wiggling, makes it easier. Just gonna wanna take it out. It's better if you use ESC safe, because, like, just when you're working with computer parts, ESC safe. So now we're just gonna move the actual power supply off to the side, and we're gonna take a look at the fan. Now, first thing we're gonna do is just remove this little airflow director, right? Just unscrew it. And yeah, I should have cut this shorter, but I'm already doing the voiceover, and I really I had to edit the video twice because it didn't save my computer crashed. I had to do it again, but whatever. Yeah, as you can see, these screws that hold in the fan are exactly the same as any. Um, as any screw that you find for a fan in your case, or should be, like same as all my fan screws that I've ever gotten, right? Like as you can see, their camera wasn't focusing well on it, but they are the same, right? So you just you're gonna take those out. I don't know why I'm holding it up here so long. Whatever. Then I'm just gonna take off the little plastic protector. So remove this. Right, the camera see again not great at camera work but i'm trying to get there i also don't have much desk space for to work on projects so it's hard to even 
much like enough space to show you guys. So you got now you're gonna take like an out like a like a paper towel with some alcohol, just wipe it off because get rid of the dust. I mean, it might not be dusty, but it probably is because it's just having air just blown straight at it and whatever. Uh, man, yeah, it might get your stuff a little dusty. It might got my my desk dusty, so I have to clean that off too. Yeah, just there you go. Anyways, now we're gonna move on to just unspring the fan. Wow, how like interesting. How wow. I don't know why. Man, I'm just I I'm really hating on myself today, aren't I? I'm really just in my room talking to myself and probably no one's gonna watch through this because I already told you guys to click off. <sighs> but anyways, it's actually like not as bad as I said. Like you can actually, it'll teach you something. You guys, yeah, just remove the thing. Now, what we're gonna do is just wipe off the fan and my, oh my god, my camera is focusing all over the place. If you have, like, if, if you're sensitive to, like, lights and stuff, hmm, well, yeah, it's too late now. Sorry, I should have put a warning, but didn't think about it until I was watching this over and doing the voiceover. And, I'm sorry, like, this content is subpar. I mean, all my content is, like, bad compared to other people, but I will make better content, okay? No one's actually gonna watch this, but I just, I wanted to put something out there, just something out there, you know? It's kinda interesting, but I will make better content. I have a few things planned, like whether or not painting heat sinks actually affects performance, and I'm planning to do a build with, like, the Enermax liquid fusion cooler, and a uh, new motherboard I'm getting, an uh, SD, NVMe. Oh man, you guys probably don't care because you see all that on YouTube, but that's pretty exciting for me because I don't have a lot of money to spend on computer parts, of course. Anyways, now we finished cleaning it off. You want to make sure you get all the top and the bottom of the fan blades. And also, this fan right here, the one I'm putting in, is actually dusty because I forgot to clean it and I was using it in my case. But whatever, it doesn't matter. I already showed you how to clean the fan. I'm not actually going to use this power supply, so like. Make sure the fan you're putting in to replace the fan is clean. Oh yeah, did I ever say the fan? The reason for replacing the fan is, well, one, you could add like cool lights, which I did, or you could replace the fan if your fan's died, which I don't know if it's a big problem, but I figure that it's a problem that can happen, of course. All right, so now we're just screwing it back on, and to just okay, I guess I cut that all out. Right now we're gonna make sure we need to put the air airflow director on correctly. So basically you see like, it, it goes on like this and you might think it goes on the other way cause like you wanna direct air out, but you actually want to direct the air onto the heat sinks. Because if it doesn't go on the heat sinks, you're gonna have much less efficient cooling. So basically it makes it so it doesn't just create a shortcut out to the end and it goes straight through into the heat sinks and back out the side. I mean, yeah, back. Um, yeah, maybe, okay. like. I need to stop it. Just stick to this. Everyone's gonna think I'm insane now. Right? So now another way, oh crap. There's so many things I wanted to talk about that I'm missing, right? So you can either route your fan like up through the grate, which, oh, I cut out by accident, right? Oh, man, I but right, um, you, can mount, you can route it out through the grate or you can route it out through the back here. I would probably route it out through the back. You can either, once you do that, connect it to a Molex or just connect it to your motherboard for software control. I mean, should be fine. It shouldn't overheat because, I mean, if you really want to like go hard and your power supply cooling make it like tuned, if you don't have one, you could throw a temperature probe onto one of the heat sinks and then stick it out the back too. Basically, so yeah, another thing you want to do before you put it on is you're going to want to like make sure that the cable or oh, what am I man I jump around too much. Anyways, yeah, we're gonna screw on the airflow director now. Right? Just screw it on. Nothing really interesting here. I don't know why I cut out well I did cut out other bits of screwing, which screwing is not very interesting. Well, depends on what kind of screwing you're talking about. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, anyways, yes, yeah, so we're gonna just put this around here. It might actually get in the way of putting it back on. If it does, just move it around. It should be fine in the end. Basically, what we're gonna do 
is we're going to just put this through like where the cables are and then we're going to tuck it under this little like plastic thing and we're going to push it back in like it took me a lot time a long time to get it out in the first place but it should be easier to get back in of course I mean, I, this off topic thing makes me like miss so many things so there's just a lot less uh just free time to talk than there was in the last video anyways no one's actually going to this so it doesn't matter so yeah we're just going to slot in the fan while i do that badly Am I putting it in? No, yeah, I'm slotting it in again. Slot it in. And yeah, my fan cable did get in the way, but I just moved it around and everything went back in fine. So yeah, I'm just gonna push it together now. And what are we doing next? Okay, we're actually screwing it in this time. No jumping around. I hope. I hope with yes. Okay, we're just gonna screw it back down, of course. Uh, and yeah. So just screw it back down and everything should be good to go with just like maintenance on the inside oh crap i forgot to mention if you're still watching this hopefully if you're still watching this you're actually trying to do this and if you're gonna clean the inside of your power supply where all like the circuits like capacitors like all that crap you're gonna want to use an air duster and not, don't wipe it because if you wipe it there there might be a chance there's still electricity in it and you're gonna get it. okay so another thing you're gonna want to do is if you have scratches over your power supply. If you have scratches on your power supply, you just cover it up with marker. And it shows up a lot on the camera that you can see that I covered up with marker, right? But trust me, in real life, you can barely tell. And it, use a Sharpie, but if you don't have a Sharpie, just use an extra marker and wait for it to dry. It'll take a while, but it will eventually dry and it won't come off. So yeah, that's the the marker part yeah and I'm just waiting here because I did a terrible job editing this just like filming and doing it and doing the voice recorder recording but I'm not gonna try over because I just want to get to more interesting right now. so another thing I realized is that the blue lights don't match my sticker so I'm gonna just take off the sticker and as you can see there's a little bit of residue left behind but what you can do is you can take a sponge with a little bit of rubbing alcohol and you can scrub it off but make sure that you remove the stickers and scrub before you fill in the little like scratch marks with marker because if you do it after like I did you'll just remove the marker that you filled in the scratch marks with even maybe if it's permanent because like it's rubbing alcohol rubbing alcohol can remove permanent marker which permanent marker is really not that permanent if you think about it anyways right so I'm just scrubbing off the little things and uh, focus is it's very out of focus but anyways if you scrub it off It'll remove the little bits, but it also will get rid of that little like mark where the colors are different, like under the sticker and above the sticker. Like you'll, you might not be able to tell the video, but if you do it yourself, you'll definitely be able to tell. So yeah, we're just scrubbing it off, and as you can see, yeah, it definitely did take off some of the extra bits that I, I mean, oh, what, the the scratches I filled in. Anyways, yeah, so now we're done. We plug in the fan. If I didn't already say to do that. Plug in the fan to a Molex or into your motherboard. I think I did actually already say that, right? Yeah, I did. But I didn't show up a little bit. Anyway, so yeah, now we have an LED fan, which honestly, most LED fans, they look kind of cheap. And you might think this looks cheap, but in real life, it looks pretty cool. Although, it's really pointless. Almost as pointless as the RGB hard drive. Well, maybe even maybe less pointless than the RGB hard drive. RGB hard drive was pretty pointless. Yeah, so, I mean, you could do that with RGB. It'd look better. But anyways, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I ho hope you enjoyed this crappy video. Maybe you find it funny how bad it is. But, you know, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for all the support on the last video. I promise this will get much better, and I will have, like, better cool content, like, more builds. I'm going to try and do some case mods, like, maybe, uh, like, a Transformer box, maybe, like, some dystopian stuff, like a canvas mod. Like, I think that'd be cool. Yeah, but anyways, so, bye. Thank you for watching again. No, I don't know. I can't do outros. Whatever. Bye.